This is happening, people. You can stop pinching yourselves. You can stop worrying. You can stop talking about it. Erling Haaland is a Manchester City player. Now, we've had a lot of questions and we see a lot of people worrying on, on Twitter. Right, I suppose it's fairly so when you see other journalists saying it's only in principle. It's only in principle, the signing. He's a Manchester City player. Now, we want to basically just hype this up. We are really excited about this transfer. Why are we suddenly excited more so than usual? Because we have just watched Cal Dunes post-season interview and he spoke about how they got the transfer over the line and he says they were monitoring Erling Haaland's situation for four and five years and now they finally had their player Khaldun believes Erling Haaland made the right decision he believes that club made the right decision he kind of touched on briefly the emotional thing between you know Haaland's father playing for the club and now Haaland's gonna or Erling's gonna you know take over that role as, as the Haaland and he's gonna avenge his father whatever way you want to look at it it's a very exciting thing He's currently with Norway and there's some quotes that some people are kind of getting a bit concerned over from the Norway manager. Granted, these were released before Khaldun's interview released. So Khaldun's interview, I would hope, has relaxed some of you. Now, I get it. Not all of you will read into all these quotes and, and, and these people trying to put out false information and rumours on Twitter that because it's only in principle, he can still be nabbed by another club. I, I get that. Not all of you will, be, will take that seriously and... You're in your right frame of mind if that's the way you are. I promise you this deal is done. It's finito. What has the Norway manager said? I think it was translated poorly, if you ask me, from what I have read from Norwegian-speaking people have went and translated it directly, and they believe it was translated possibly out of context and, and not the way the Norwegian manager Stahl Solbakken meant. Or He says that... Um, Oh, it says Saul back and open his, his, his most recent press conference by reaffirming that Erling Haaland had not been officially presented by Man City yet. And people went, oh, is that something to be concerned over? No, it's not. Uh, because you're going to see the photos up on screen right now. Erling Haaland was pictured and videoed by multiple fans in a Manchester City kit, granted from behind, so we can't get that beautiful image of him from the front with a Manchester City crest. But he was picked at the training ground wearing a city kit. He's clearly done a huge chunk of his media duties. When a new player signs, as I'm sure... Many of you will remember to throw it back to the Jack Reader signing. They have to do a huge, huge amount of media duties. And this Haaland deal is slightly more complex because he is actually contracted with Borussia Dortmund until, is it the 30th of June, Revel? Could you help me with that? Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see his, his Instagram bio still says BVB player because legally he's still a Borussia Dortmund player. Now, Dortmund may have given City the go ahead to go and announce him, but I don't. I, I have a funny feeling they don't want to do it while he's away with Norway and I could be completely wrong there's no method to my, my madness there's no method to my thought process there I just don't think they'll do it while he's with Norway he has to play four games for Norway I think it's in the Nations League whatever that Mickey Mouse competition is uh, and he said it himself there's quotes from, from him himself on City Extra's Twitter go and look at that where he says, I just want to focus on those things. And he speaks about his future and his, his process finding his latest club, which is his newest club, Manchester City. And he says it was tough. It was, it was, a, it was a really tough for him, for, thing for him to do, was to focus on his football at Dortmund while working on finding a new club. But he says he, his focus is very good. And I think that is a, a testament to him. He's clearly a very mature young man, someone you know, you'd be happy to bring up to the club. How do you feel about all this rebel? Because the Norwegian manager, people took his quotes maybe out of context. But then Khaldun probably settled people's nerves by openly speaking about it. Khaldun would not speak about Haaland. He would not mention Haaland's name if that wasn't done. I don't believe there are some people out there thinking that it's not finished. That there was any even modicum of evidence to say to the contrary that he's not going to sign. Because he's going to sign. It's signed, it's sealed, it's done. He he's has pictures. signed. He he's has signed. He's in the, there's pictures of him in a jersey. The manager spoke about him. The player spoke about him. The club announced him. The... This, I, I think Pep's what spoke about what, the, everything's on Pep, what no, Pep's spoke about it Pep spoke about yeah, it Pep's spoke about Pep, Pep said it Pep's done Pep said it I think what the man now bear in mind I think the now I'm just correct to do this I think he's he's saying right we're here basically he, he hasn't said this but I think what he's trying to say in, in saying about the whole Man City thing is like this is Norwegian do we don't have to want to have to keep answering questions with Harling on City we're about to play for like a nation's league is very big when it comes to qualifying for the for nations like Norway, like or when it comes to qualifying for other tournaments, getting that seed and it's it's huge. They need to focus on those games. That's why he was saying that, in my opinion. He's trying not to detract from the games because they have to play four huge games. And and I was like, you you can't just take that as a old. I'm shitting myself now. So like, it's finished. Stop stop getting nervous. I'm you I'm resident for you. And I'm yeah calm as shit like it's not there is he's going nowhere right 
it's funny because like we've seen so many of those like Samuel Payne accounts, you know, like they they have their their profile pictures just black with their initials and white, trying to take the piss, saying like, oh yeah, do Madrid are taking them, Madrid are not taking them, it's finished. He's legally still he's a city player. No one's taking him. I'm happy though. And I just get all, all that negative part away. I'm chuffed. I couldn't believe it. When the pictures of him came out with the um with the jersey on it, I just is like kind of pinch yourself, you know what I mean? But you know, we were expecting something today. I think we were more so expecting maybe an announcement today. It's currently twenty to ten and there's nothing. But we got the Caledon thing today. I think the Haaland thing's just around the corner. I'd say give it to last in the Nations League and then if you've any <clears throat> if you've got any worries any other just lingering fears they'll be gone because it's done if you're watching this play stop getting worried about it look he's done the second part of his his uh, medical he did it with the dr kuga who we all know very well out in barcelona then he flew straight to manchester he was pictured in manchester he was pictured in a restaurant with his dad and a few city officials he was pictured in a city kit at the training ground it's exciting times. Now, as many of you who are like ourselves, we have come to terms with that we've signed early Haaland. We're just waiting. We're, we're eagerly anticipating and waiting this announcement video. And like I said a few minutes ago, my hunch is that it will be post-international duties so that he can come back and fulfill the, re the remainder of his media duties because that will be a huge thing. When that announcement video drops, that will follow, or what will follow the announcement video, is a huge series of interviews and photos and videos and promotions. City don't want to do that while he's on international duty. They want Haaland in Manchester. They'll have him at their disposal. He'll be able to attend whatever needs to be done. It's probably not the right time. I know you said a lot of people were expecting an announcement today at the time of recording. I'm not. Now, I could be completely wrong and City may go ahead and announce him and drop the video or drop whatever they were planning on doing. But my guess is it'll be after international break. And I'm, I'm a bit of a child when it comes to these things. I get really excited by seeing him in the City shirt even from behind. I get really excited seeing him land in Manchester. I get really excited seeing him walking around Manchester or or just in blue in general. It's it's one of those, like you said, pinch me kind of things that we've signed. And, and to quote Cal Doon, one of the best strikers in world football and, and the club and him have made the right decision in, in partnering up and doing this. It's done. It's happening. This guy is ours. And we just wanted to come on and, and talk to this guy because we're not going to be done talking about this guy. This guy's got, what, a four or five year contract. And you best believe for those four or five years, we will be making videos about him. He is now my favorite player in the world. Jack Greenish, if you're watching, I still do love you. But Erling Haaland is he's the man now. And, and it's... It's time to get excited. Whether the video drops now or in three weeks, take solace from the fact that Cal Duan spoke about it. Take solace from the fact that players spoke about it and Pep Guardiola spoke about it. Get down below, involved in the comments. Let us know what you're most excited about with Erling Haaland. Did you see the images? Did they make you excited? Leave a like as well in the video. It helps us massively. It's going to be an interesting summer because sometimes the transfers go quiet and there's not a lot of content to make, but we will continue to make videos three days a week. So look out for it Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And always get down below in the comments and, uh, and give us content suggestions. If there's anything you think we should cover, anything you'd like us to cover, um, do let us know and we will happily do it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we will see you those three days every week. Good night. God bless.